Hello and welcome. Today I want to share with you how you can easily make linear patterns within Adobe Illustrator. Also be sure to check out my circular pattern tutorial if you're interested in that. I'll go ahead and link it up above. But otherwise, let's go ahead and dive into our linear patterns here. So first I want to go ahead and select the object in which I want to make my pattern out of. So once I have it selected, I'm going to click and hold while holding Alt and Shift on my keyboard. This will enable me to create a copy that will snap to either horizontal, diagonal, or vertical uh, in the directions shown here. So once I release, it'll create the copy for me. And then next I can go ahead and repeat this process by hitting Control or Command if you're on uh, Mac and D. So commit, or Command D, Command D, Command D, or Control if you're using uh, Windows. And then this will create your various copies that are equally spaced just as you had done based on the first one. But say I had like a combined space and I'm not sure how many I can fit or the, the distance between them in which I can fit. So for instance, in that case, I'm going to go ahead and delete these. And I want to create my start and my stopping point. So I'm going to click and hold while holding Alt and Shift on the keyboard and start dragging. I'm going to place it to where I want my stop point to be. So say I want it about there. Now I can go ahead and create multiple copies. So I'm going to click and hold, hold Alt and Shift, and I'll just go here. And say I want to do um, one, two, three, four, five copies. Well, now I want to space these within here. So I'm going to go ahead and select all of them, including the start and stop. And then I can go over to my handy dandy align tool and my distribute objects. So I'm going to do vertical distribute. And oh, I did it wrong because I selected my artboard. Make sure you have it to align to selected, which will align between these two now. So if I go ahead and hit it, there we go. So it's, my artboard's a little bit bigger, so it went for that instead. But yeah, you can do different stuff here too. But that's the basic idea of how you can get this first row started. And then once I had those selected, it's actually better to create like a group. It makes it easier in your layers panel, so you can find what you're, all, uh, you're working on. Okay, so let's go ahead and create some more rows now. So to start, I'm going to select this one and then click and hold while holding Alt and Shift on the keyboard and drag, and you will see that it can do diagonal, it can do this one, or you could do vertical, but we'll do horizontal. So I will click and drag while holding Alt and Shift and release, and that'll create my copy, and then hit Control D or Command D if you're using Mac, and you can continue, continuously do this, and it will keep doing equally spaced copies based on your first copy that you had made. But again, say I want to have this one be my start and stop point, I'm going to create a copy again, so click and hold while holding Alt and Shift. Go all the way to the end point here, and I'll say I want it about there. And now I'm going to go ahead and create a copy again. And Control D. So we'll have like five copies in the middle. And then I'm going to go ahead and select all of them. Go to Align. Make sure it's by the selection and not the artboard, so they don't go way out of side my little boundary box here. And then I'm going to go ahead and do horizontal distribute. And that will create my basic pattern. So wrapping up here, that's basically a quick rundown of how to make linear patterns. I hope this was helpful for you and feel free to like the video. And be sure to subscribe for more content here in the future. Thanks for tuning in and happy designing.